Hey class, welcome to Algebra. I hope you've had a good day so far. Uh, it's Thursday. We're gonna we're gonna discuss the quadratic formula today. Um, but your bell work today is gonna be standard form. Standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So basically, you're taking the equation to zero. Any questions? All right, I'm gonna give you just a second to work on that, and I'm gonna come pick up your homework from last night. All right, you got your homework? You can speak, you just can't be on camera. You got your homework? Yeah, I got my homework. All right, all right, I got to have voices in the background. Thank you, thank you very much. Do you have any problems with it? No, sir. No. All right, all right. That works, I'm gonna put that over here. All right, simple standard form, and it's the, this is basically the basis of the quadratic formula. What we're gonna do is, no question, no homework, so we're gonna roll on. That's the quadratic formula. Big, big part of algebra. So I'm gonna write it up here so we'll have it in a minute. X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC over 2A. All right, now you're gonna see the importance of the, of the uh, standard form because you got to plug in to that formula for quadratics. Any questions so far? No, sir. All right, it's a big, long, complicated thing, but on your state test, it is probably, and you will have the sheet with this formula on it, so you don't have to memorize it. It won't hurt you to memorize it, because it'll help you in other classes. First, the equation must be set to zero and written in standard form. Got a question? Yes, sir. Okay, good job. All right, second, you've got to identify the A, B, and C in the equation. And third, you're going to substitute A, B, and C into the quadratic formula. We're not going to solve the equations today. We're going to work on that tomorrow. Today, we're going to just take and put it in standard form and then put it in the formula. That way, tomorrow, when we get to that third step, it won't be so much. All right. So, if we're going to put it in standard form, first thing you do is you've got to make it equal zero. So you're going to subtract 36 from both sides. Alright? Then, you're going to identify it as your A, B, C. Your first one's going to be your A. Your second one's going to be your B. Your third one's going to be your C. That puts it in standard form because it equals zero. So now you're going to take that and plug it into that. Alright? So you still got your X equals. Hang on, what? Yeah, your x equals negative b. What's your b? Negative 5x. All right, negative 5x. So you got negative 5x. All right. Your b's again, b squared. You got negative 5x squared minus 4. What's your a? Um. X squared. All right. X squared. And what's C? Yeah, 36. 36. All right, very good. All right, you're going to put that over 2 times A. What's A again? X squared. All right. So we take it and put it in standard form, and then we plug this equation into the quadratic formula. So x equals negative 5, negative of negative 5x plus or minus the square root of negative 5x squared <laughs> minus 4x squared minus 36 over 2x squared. Any questions? No, All right. So we took the problem from standard form, and we took it and put it in the formula. That's all we're doing today. We're not going to solve the formula. We're going to just plug it in. That way you're not getting too much in one day, and it makes it a little simpler to understand. So you plugged it in the formula, we did all that. That's just the quadratic formula again to show you. I've got it written up there, so we're good. Because your answers you're gonna have underneath, once you get the square root, you're gonna have both a positive answer and a negative answer. Both will obtain that. If you don't, then it's either gonna be irrational or no solution. But we'll get to that tomorrow. Do you think you'll use this in the real world? Yes, sir. How do you think you'll use it in the real world? 
How will you use quadratics in the real world? What do you use every day that uses quadratics? Man. What do you use personally every day? Not a class. A phone. A phone. Yeah. Computer. Man. Calculator. Calculators. I was thinking about it this morning. GPS. Right. Your generation, which I love, you take a phone, you punch <laughs> in an address, and the phone tells you where you have to go. 20 years ago, when we, well, not even complete 20 years ago, you put that in the computer, you print the directions, if you missed a turn, you have to go back and figure out which way you're going. Before that, you had a compass and a pencil and a map. I don't know how the you know, map industry still stays in business unless people just want to use them for decorations because GPS has taken that all away. My brother had a TomTom, -tom, and we have uh, Garmin's at work, but you have to download your trip into the system, and then you go and it uses GPS through the Global Positioning Satellite System. That's what it stands for, but it uses algorithms all the time. So we're going to work on problems one, two, and three in class. I'm going to hand out the worksheet. Remember, there will be obstacles. There will be doubters. There will be mistakes. But with hard work, there will be success. So just because you can't figure out something today doesn't mean you won't figure it out tomorrow. All right? And that'll get you through a lot in life. There will be struggles. I also added a quote to the board. I don't know if you saw that the other day. It is your struggles that become your greatest strength. Just don't give up. There's a lot of people that will tell you you can't in life. Math makes me feel like I can't some days, but I still can. I've had to relearn to be able to help y'all. And Khan Academy, they tried to send me a gold membership. It's terrible. It's terrible. All right, Brandon, can you catch the lights up there with the projector today? No, turn them on. <laughs> I'm just, all right, we're going to work on these problems with just the dry erase board. I know, right? It's scary. Mr. Hudson's not using a slideshow for something. Let's see how well this goes. Right. Quit the on and off. We might have somebody with epilepsy and we don't want to see you. All right, so the problem, first one. X squared minus 8X equals 20. Now remember, we're just putting it in standard form. Real simple. So what do we do to put it in standard form? What do we do? Put it in standard. We gotta, we gotta get this to what? Zero. Yeah, zero. All right, how would we get that to zero? We subtract the whole thing. All right, what we're gonna subtract? 20. 20? So we're going to minus 20 and minus 20. So we're going to end up with x squared minus 8x minus 20 equals 0. So that's standard form. All right? Now, we're going to take that standard form, and we've got to plug it into the quadratic equation. Which one's A? Simple as A, B, C. X squared. X squared A. All right, which one's B? Negative eight. All right, and which one's C? Negative 20. All right, see how simple that was? We took this equation. We just subtracted 20 from both sides, and that gave us standard form, and then we labeled it. Now we come over here, and we've got X equals negative, and we'll put a blank there, plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4ac over 2a. Alright? Seems simple, huh? Now I'm going to take and I'm going to put blanks in these spots. We're going to put my eraser. Here we go. We're going to take and keep that equation up there, but I'm going to take the b out. I'm going to take the a and the c out. And I'm going to take the a out. Alright, now we got a blank equation. This is just that minus the letters. So now we're going to plug the letters in, okay? I'm going to use green this time. All right, A is X squared, right? Yes, sir. All right, A goes here and here. So A goes here and here. All right, what's B? A, A, uh, negative negative 8X? Gotcha. All right, so negative B 
So that's negative 8x. And then we got B again in the formula, don't we? Yep, negative 8x. All right, so B's done. A's done. Where's C go? Where does C go in the formula? Right inside of, right inside of 8x. All right, right beside that. So we're going to put parentheses, negative 20, close. We're done. We've taken it from this to this, and then we brought it around, and we plugged them in, and we got that. Now tomorrow we'll work on solving that. But today, we're just going to put it in standard form, and then plug it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, and it's as simple as this. Your ratio A, B, and C. All right, we're going to erase this one, and we're going to start with another one. I think I'm going to buy Coach Millwood an eraser for a going away present. Because he has an eraser. It don't work. Man, that thing's got more marker in it than, than Halloween store. Halloween has makeup. A going away present. Yeah, like, I leave April 30th. I'm only here till April 30th. When's April 30th? The end of this month. I've got like three more weeks, this week and then two more, and then I graduate May 1st, May 4th. I'm going to miss y'all too. All right, question number two is going to be 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 equals 12. All right, I got to put it in standard form. What have I got to do to make it in standard form? I got to make this equal... Zero. All right, so how would I make that equal zero? Okay, 12. Minus 12? Minus 12. All right, we got 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 minus 12 equals zero. I'm going to take care of this. Okay, what's 3 minus 12? Plus 3 minus 12 is 9. So. It's going to be bigger than 9. Eight. What? It? Good one. Nine. Good job. Way to catch me. I'm not perfect. I don't know it that well. I'm learning it, but we all make mistakes. But I showed you earlier, it may be hard, but we'll get through it. Got 2x squared plus 7x minus 9 equals 0. All right, that's standard form. Now we got to identify what? The ABCs. Real simple. A, B, C. All right, now we're going to write it in the form over here. I'm going to go ahead and do parentheses here and here and here. All right, so what's A? 2x squared. 2x squared. Okay, it's going to go here and where else? Right inside the 2. Down here? Yeah. All right. That's 2x squared. All right. B, where's B go? It goes in two places. It goes over the side of negative. It goes right here. All right, and B is positive 7, so that's 7x. All right, and where else does it go? Yeah. It goes under, the, goes under here? Yeah, right there. Yep. All right, and that's negative. That's 7x. All right, now we got C left. C only goes one place. It goes on the end. And it's a negative 9, so negative 9. There, we've done it. We've taken 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 equals 12. We took it to standard form because we subtracted 12 from both sides and went to zero. And then we identified our ABCs and then we plugged them into the formula. Got one of them games plug and play. Yeah. And then tomorrow we're going to work on this. So that will make it a lot better to understand because now we know we've already found out how to get the standard form, how to identify the ABCs that we plug into the formula. Yeah. Then we just Take care of the formula. Any questions so far? No, sir. All right, all right. We're going to erase this one. All right, y'all taking notes? Sorry. <laughs> She's not going to get all to us for being loud because I'm teaching quadratic formula. Oh, well, too happy teaching, I guess. Yeah, be all right? Yeah, we will be okay. Yeah, 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 like I said, there will be obstacles. Mm -hmm. 
know that song that um, everything gonna be alright by um, Bob Marley? Which one? Everything's gonna be alright? Love that song. Love it. You know, Bob died a death of cancer. And he uh he still oh. saying how everything was gonna be alright. You're that excited about quadratic though? Yeah. Thing? All right. All right, now number three, we're gonna this is gonna be our final question for the day we're gonna work on. It's 3x squared minus 12 equals zero. Do we have to do anything to this one? No. Why? Because it's already zero. It's already equal to zero. So they gave us one. It's already in standard form. But you know it's easy. Makes it easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to identify A, B, C. Wow. <laughs> if it's already in standard form, you just walk over, put your letters in, and then you do A is 3x squared, right? Right. You do B, which is 12. Goes here, negative, negative 12. There we go again, negative 12. I, I'm, I gotta pay attention to them signs, right? Thank you. I appreciate it, Demar. I appreciate that. Keep me, you saving me. That negative will make that whole question go, what happened? All right, and I put it again here, right? Negative 12, and I square it. And it's gonna be still minus the four. Now what do I do here? I plug those two in. So A again is three X squared. And then B, I don't have B there, I got C. Woo, there goes the brain, it's zero. We're done. That is, it plugged into the quadratic formula. Does that make it simple? I mean, I like it when they give us one in standard form, but they're not always gonna give us one in standard form. Now, <laughs> I had a, a video I wanna play on. It's not on my lesson plan, but we did so good. And it's called uh, Mr. Pie. He's a rapper, but he's also a math teacher and a coach. And he filmed this video years ago. I thought it was kind of funny. But Ben Tucker doing quadratic formula, and we're going to solve it. I'm going to start you off. To, I'm going to end the day with it today. So let me make sure my speaker's on. Hang on, let me rewind it. Here we go. Full Sail University yeah. is a place where you gotta watch on here because the uh, volume doesn't work on the speaker over there. Filling the world with music, entertainment, James, Martin. And then we're gonna skip ads because you know YouTube loves them because it's an algorithm. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. We don't want to watch that one, I promise. That's Algebra 2 instructions. It's not as fun. Let's get Mr. Pie pulled up. I tell you the best way to find Mr. Pie is to go to my slideshow because he's the last one on it. Here I go messing around again and not putting that link in there, but I didn't think we'd get this far, so hey, we're doing good. I'm gonna scroll to the end. And see, I even had the link in my, uh, there we go. If y'all want the link, I'll send it to you. I mean, he's jamming. This was filmed eight years ago. So you can see the, here I'll put it up here, see y'all. But everything he talks about, something you've learned today, or will learn in the future.
you less than zero. They're too high, you'll see. Like when your ABCs equals one, two, three, then your solutions are not real. They're imaginary. Is this a standard form? No, it's not. So take the number from the right side and drop it like it's not. Now, this is standard form, and it's easy to see. A is one, B is negative four, and C is three. Now, tell these values in the equation is an order of operation. Please excuse my dear. Sally is before throughout the nation. Every careful calculation, X is three and one. Well, I got six and ten. Come on, son. How'd you get A equals one? A don't know me in front of X. Please tell me that you're here because I'm about to be vexed. The question shows just how little you pay attention. In fact, you just earned yourself a rush detention. Rush detention? Nah, go in with that, man. I gotta see my ladies at lunch, player. I gotta see my ladies. Yeah, I got some ladies for you. I'm gonna introduce to them at lunchtime. They go by the name of Arithmetic and Algebra. You know what I'm saying? Play off. You have the answer number two. No, I have a question. But please don't get mad, but it's not about the lesson. Can you hear me real I can sing and I can dance. I know I'm gonna get far if you give me a chance. Well, first of all, young lady, that question is way off task. Can it seem to all the mission to the world my plan? But I'm gonna get you back on track with some crafty navigation. I'll bring you to the board for this romantic equation. So the discriminant is B squared minus 4AC. It lets you know the types of solutions there will be. When it's negative, that means you have to imagine a solution. When it's zero, that means one real is the conclusion. When a discriminant is a value that's greater than zero, then find two real solutions in your B squared. You know, B squared minus 4AC. Can you add it and subtract it with the opposite of B? Take the values you get and divide by 2A. Now you solve the equivalent for the value and weight. And if B squared minus 4AC, is a value less than zero. Then two eyes you see. Like when your ABCs equal one, two, and three, then your solutions are not real. They're imaginary. <laughs> um. All right, all right. So the rest of class, well, we're running out of time, but y'all did so good on the overview that I'm gonna let you do four, five, and six for homework. Just keep that worksheet with you. And if you need to, I'm gonna hand you a, a sheet so you can write down that quadratic formula. Here's your post-it note. Just write that down off the board and stick to your homework. And that way you got that quadratic formula we in case the wrap didn't stick. Now if I could wrap, I would have just put that show on myself. <laughs> well y'all have a great day, make good decisions. Uh, like I said, we'll pick up where we left off. We'll take it from taking it from the standard form to putting it in the quadratic formula to actually solving quadratic equations using the formula. So y'all have a good day. Bye y'all. Bye.